Good morning, everybody. We are going to be pursuing the fireman with the American flag in the background. This is one of my favorite ones. I love the American flag. And this is just a really cool one. I have a lot of friends that are firefighters or police officers or in the military. And I think this is a really good one. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have ever taken a class before, you probably know that we always paint the background first in most situations. And today that is exactly what we're gonna do. We have two pieces. We have the American flag and then we have the firefighter that is on the top. So the background is very colorful with red, white, and blue of the American flag. And then the fireman is a silhouette, meaning it is all in black and then we'll add some final touches to it for him to stand out. Go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down just a bit. I have my canvas, a 16 by 20, on an easel. Now you can sit it down at home, lay it down if you want. I think anything works and it's up to you. It's up to the artist how you wanna do that. Let's go over some of our supplies first. So I have a plate here that has red, white, and blue, and then black. So we're gonna do our background colors with our red, white, and blue. I have a plate here, I have it all separated so it's not in the middle and all touching. And then I have black to finish up our firefighter. So I have that on a regular plate, styrofoam that doesn't absorb paint. I also have a water bucket that has a medium sized brush, okay? and just a normal little brush and it has a little tip on it and my water bucket. I've had this for many years and you could probably tell. So then I also have a paper towel. So I have my water bucket with my brush, my paper towel, and then all of my paint. So I am gonna take my brush out of my water bucket and a lot of times we wanna pull on our bristles but we just wanna gently dry it off on our paper towel and keep that close by us. Right now, I am gonna go ahead and mark red on the stripes that I want red. We always start with the top one red. So red, 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 and we're skipping a line, right? Cause it's red, white, red, white. So why do I do this? Well, so I don't get confused and paint two reds in a row, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and paint those in. I'm gonna hold kind of at the middle here and keep my elbow tucked in. And I am gonna do some back and forth strokes, horizontal strokes, back and forth, okay? and we are gonna do each one of those. Now, the reason why I don't do red and then I scoop white and then I do red because if red and white touches, it usually makes a very soft pink and we want this to be vibrant red. Now, if my paint is too thick, I can just put some water on my brush and place it right into my red, don't even dry it off and this thins down your paint. It makes it easier to work with. Okay. Now, what if we get some inside the firefighter? Just how I did, right? It went right through his helmet. That's okay. We're gonna paint all of the firefighter, firefighter black. So that's okay. What if I get some somewhere else? That's okay, wait for it to dry, go over it in white, and pick back up where you left off and repaint it, right? So I'm just filling in my stripes. And you know, the nice thing about doing an in-person class at the school and then being able to come home and do this online too, is you can perfect what you didn't get to in class, or maybe you didn't like something you did in class. You can always correct it at home um, that you, however you want to. But for those that can't come to school or um, are not coming to school and they're doing the online class, doing um, classes with us online gives you that opportunity to pause 
and maybe get a snack. Maybe we get frustrated and that's okay, but just make sure you come back. Make sure you always come back, but give yourself some time. Okay, so my brush is a little dry again. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my brush, give it a few drops and it glides on again. So acrylic paint is water-based and that's what we're using today. We're using acrylic paint, water-based paint. And so if we add water, it makes it a little thinner and easier to work with at times. Just depends what we want our painting to look like. I love that there's a little um, badge at the top and you get to choose what you want for that. You know, so what maybe is your favorite number? Do you have somebody that is a firefighter? Um, do we want to put, you know, there's some forest fires going on right now. Maybe, um, maybe we put somebody's number out there. Maybe we put the area code. Um, we just got to be creative. And those are the choices you get to make. So you see that I am finishing up with my red. Let's go ahead and add some bigger red right here. My shrimps are on, on the side. So let's go ahead and rinse our brush. How do we do that? We're gonna rinse our brush by circling our brush on the bottom of our water bucket. And you can hear that sound. Sounds help us to know if we're doing paint strokes right or rinsing our brush right. And then we'll gently dry off on our paper towel. We're gonna to go over into our blue. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna outline it. That means go around that square up here in the top left-hand corner. And I'm just gonna square that off and do some back and forth strokes. You could even do swirls. We kinda want it to look texturized, so whatever you're comfortable with. This is called stippling up and down, up and down or you can go back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna go back and forth like I was with my stripes. Very cool. Then I'm gonna take some of that blue and I'm just gonna kind of go through a little, a little bit of my red right underneath there like kind of giving it an abstract look, but kind of looks like it's just kind of flowing. It brings your eyes around the canvas. Sometimes we need to go outside the lines a little bit. That's okay if we get some in the firefighter here. Remember, if you need to take a break, I understand I have to take many breaks. Maybe you need to get a snack. Okay. Then I'm just kind of stretching out my blue area here. Okay. Stretching out my blue area. You don't have to do that if you want it to be a perfect blue um, rectangle-ish square up there, you can. Then I have some white here. I'm going to use the bottom of my brush. Remember, not the brush part. And then I'm going to start putting in some, what would, we're going to be uh, some stars. And I just kind of 
put those everywhere for some texture and then a very cool thing I want you guys to do here is I want you to take a clean brush add a little water do this in a good place you might need to go outside I add a little water and I put it just to the side of my white I make a little puddle it has to be pretty wet okay and then I'm gonna hold on to my brush with my left hand okay and I'm going to flick some stars, some abstract stars all over it. You could do this with black, you could do it blue. Okay, and let me give you a close-up of what that looks like, guys. Okay, that reminds you of like a sky. So I've kind of turned this American flag into a sky look. Maybe those are stars. Maybe those are stars in the sky. And you can even add more. You could maybe flick a little bit more over here. Lay it out in the grass outside. Do it. Do it on um, a table with a plastic sheet underneath. Remember, it's acrylic paint, so it's easy to clean up. But let's be careful and let's be safe. Okay? So I can always add in more, but now I just want to clean my brush really well, circle it on the bottom of my water bucket, and I'm going to go straight into my black, holding it like a pencil, more here in the middle, and I'm going to outline, meaning go around my firefighter. see if I had a color red or blue or anything inside of him that's okay because I am going to be covering that up with this black my brush is a little dry I'm gonna add some water to it remember that helps work a little bit better thins it down so I've just outlined meaning go around my firefighter here and now I'm going to paint him in. I want to leave this open up here. But I'm just going to start painting him in. So longer strokes. And I outlined him first because that just helps me remember not to go outside of that. So we keep the shape of our firefighter. So big long strokes here in the middle and then when we do little details be real careful keep your elbow tucked in. That just makes you have more control over your brush when we do little detail strokes.
let's do a grand idea over here. And I'm going to put 911 up here. Okay, 911. I'm going to clean off my brush really good. How do we do that? We circle it on the bottom. I'm going to take a little bit of white. And I'm going to just do a few little white strokes of, say, there was light hitting the top of our helmet, our face, usually the things that protrude out. Just doing a little detail work right now. Is that I'm gonna add a little black in here too. Make it look a little bit more aged, right? Again, I can flick paint on this. Distress it a little bit. Add a little bit of extra blue in there. But there we have it, guys. I'm gonna take my brush really clean. I'm gonna take a little, uh, let's go with black. I'm gonna sign it down here. I always sign it Stang. I even title my work. Maybe this is um, the guardian. Maybe this is the guy that guards everything. But I want you to title your work. So title means like, your favorite book or a movie. So everything that is created, you have a title, right? You have a name, you were born. And so you were created, this was created, and we want to take that time to title our work. So maybe I'll call this the guardian, where he shows up and there's a fire and he's taking care of it. So title your work, learn to do that. Just a few words, right? The guardian, um, the New York firefighter, um, whatever you want to do, you could call it 911, whatever you want. And I want it to be yours. So I really want you to think about that. So title your work, sign it always maybe in the bottom corner somewhere. It doesn't stick out so much, right? Write your title on the back with a pen, do some of those splatters. Those are super fun, but you want a wet, wet brush. You can do that outside in the grass or in a safe place. But remember we did the background first, the red. Then we went to the blue, then we colored him in, did some highlights, and voila. So, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. It's been awesome creating with you. Remember, take your time, enjoy it. It's your painting, and have fun creating. Have a great one, guys. Talk to you soon.